drop it. Hi guys, welcome back. So this is part two of our debug program. Last time I showed you the quit program that allows us to finish the debug session and end, ends back at the DOS prompt. For today, I'm going to demonstrate to you how the H hexadecimal command work and then I will also be showing you um, display and also the different registers. But before that, let's open our let's open our virtual box here. Let me show it to you first. Okay, I have Windows 98 installed. Well, not actually installed. I have here a uh, Windows 98 uh, program. Okay, so I think it did the shutdown properly. So it's checking. Let's wait for a while. Okay, so Windows 98 is booting up. Let's wait. So let me zoom in here. Okay, just need to press enter. And then we're back inside Windows 90. Okay. Now, to open up um, the bug, you simply click start. Click start, run. Then you could type in the word command that will go to the command prompt, DOS prompt. Or you could just go to start, programs, and then MS DOS prompt. Once you're here, you could execute the bug from the uh, DOS prompt by typing here the bug. Now, to see the different uh, commands, just press question mark and then you would uh, see already the commands here. So, for today, I'm going to show to you how H or hex work. It allows us to um, compute for the sum and difference of um, a hexadecimal value. Why? Uh, there's a purpose for this when we start to create some sample or short program. So, but for the meantime, let's just use the value. So all you need to do is to press uh, type H and then the values that you like to have. So let's say 0, 0, 0, D, D, that's D, and then 0, 0, 0, 5. Enter. What we have here is the sum and difference of two hexadecimal values. So that's it. That's how we use it. Next is we're going to use now R for registers. This one here. Registers are special types of memory in assembly. If you press R, enter, these are the different registers that we have. Okay, so let me go back to PowerPoint. And then open up our, okay, so registers are instructions that allow us to display content of registers and their values. It also displays the content of the next instructions and permit users to change the value of a particular register. Now, these are the different registers. So if you see some um, special symbols there, AX, BX, CX, DX, or even DS, SS, or ES, those are different registers. As we go along, I'll explain what is the purpose of those registers and how do we use them in assembly language. We also have here some flag registers. Uh, we have overflow, directions, interrupt, sign, zero, auxiliary carry, parity, and then carry here. By default, all of them are they have the default value of reset. This is the default value. Then if let's say you want to set a particular value, yeah, these are the values that are available. So let's try to uh, work around the register. Okay, let's go back here. So like I mentioned before, the register here are those AX, BX, CX, DX. By default, when you start to run the MS debug program, it is set to 0, 0, 0. Okay, so all of this except for the data segment. Now, let us now, let us now change some values here. To change some values, all you need to do is to press R. 
followed by the register that you like to change. So let's say, for example, we would like to update the values for our AX register. Simply type R, R followed by AX, then press enter. Then you'll be prompted to enter the values. By default, it's 0, 0, 0, 0. And then let's say we want to type 1, 2, 3, 4, enter, and then press R again. So you're going to see here the values that we have updated. And if let's say we want to update also, let's say the BX register, same process, just type R here, and then BX, and then press enter. And if you want to change 2, 3, 4, 5, enter, and then press R again, it will display to you 2, 3, 4, 5. Take note that the numbers that we entered are in hexadecimal values, okay? So that is for the registers. Now for the flags, these are the different flags that we have. Like I mentioned earlier, we have the default set of values, and these are the default values here. So if you'd like to change a particular value for your flags, all you need to do, let's say, for example, PE, this one here, a PO rather. PO is for our parity. By default, it's set to zero, okay? Now, if you want to change the value, all you need to do is to type here, R followed by M. Then press enter. You'll be able to see all the different flags available. And if you want to change something here, want to update this value, then press enter there and then press R. Then we're going to see the updated value for our register. Okay, so let's move on. The next command that I would like to share is display or dump. If you press letter D here, enter, what it does, it shows to us the current, uh, how do you say that, value stored in our memory. So by default, we start with the address which is 0, 0100. Now take note that this 1067 is our data segment values, okay? This one here. If you notice, we have DS here, DS. This one here, 106C, all the values will be displayed. Uh, this is where you're going to see all the values. And this one here changes. By default, we start to uh, see the numbers with 0, 100, 110, 120, 130, and so on. These are the hexadecimal values. And then this is the equivalent value of the number. So what do you mean by equivalent value? Um, the bug is somehow trying to uh, show to us the ASCII equivalent of the different hexadecimal values here. Okay? Now, can we go on to other different memory segments? You can. To do that, all you need to do is to press D, space, and then the location. Let's say we want to go to location 200. You just type here D, and then 0, 200, press enter. What it does, it will show to us the value of 0, 200, okay? Now, what if we would like to change the sequence here? Okay, let's, let's update the values. To do that, what we need to do here is to use another command, which is E for enter, okay? Let's go back to our PowerPoint so that we'll be able to identify or know the meaning. Okay. What is E? Okay. E enables users to enter in data or machine instruction into memory at a specific location address. Now, I mentioned earlier that uh, you can go to a specific location in memory. So let's say D200, D300, and so on. To change the content in memory, what you need to do is to just type here letter E. Okay, let's dem I'll demonstrate that to you. Let's go back here. Let's zoom in. Okay, so let's say we want to update this set of values. By default, we have your N2, uh, dot, dot, F, and so on and so forth. Okay, so well, these are the values that the debug is currently trying to, currently trying to uh, display. Now, all of these are hex values, so these are the ASCII equivalent. If we go to this site here, let me open the browser. Okay, let me 
switch back to my okay let's open a new window here and let's type here ascii.cl have here ascii.cl this opens up our ascii code stable now if we go to this section here let's say for letter a the ascii equivalent in hex is 41 42 43 and so on and that is in uppercase while here is in lowercase format now if we would like to change the value let's say we want to display the famous hello world program so let's go back here now i already uh, got the values for the hello world program let's say h is 48 then letter e is 65 and so on okay so let me demonstrate to you by updating these values here let's say i'm going to start with uh, the default one which is 100 or let's say 200 this section here and let's try to update it all you need to do is to just type here d followed by uh right, not d rather so we know already the address which is 200 all you need to do is to type e followed by 0 200 enter now what will display are the values that we have so let's say for example this is 4e and then 32 and so on and so forth now let's try to change the values so uh, if you refer to the hexadecimal table and uh, not hexad the ascii table that i showed you earlier so this should be the values for our hello world program just type here 48 then press space then it i'm sorry for that oh let's do it again you have to press space one time so e 0 200 enter just press it one time okay so you type here 48 then we have here 65 6c 6f 2c 20 5 7 6 F okay and then this is within the set next line so we have here 75 this is 75 you notice here we are now at the second uh, 16 bit uh, 6 uh, 8 bit here this one here 75 so we type here 72 6C, 64, 21, and 24. Enter. Okay, so we have updated the uh, values. So if you want to see it, all you need to do is to type D, dump or display, the address which is 0, 200, and press enter. Okay, so, oh, I'm sorry. We forgot to display uh, only one letter. But anyway, so we were able to update the values here. So we have here hello, comma, world that allows us to display from this line of code here to this line of code here. So that is the memory address. Okay. So that's it for now. I'll proceed with the other set of examples in our next tutorial. So I hope you like this. Please subscribe to my channel. And thank you. That's all. Bye.